It's actually a really live action picture. Everyone's staring at each other and the, the gaze means something different. When we went into the gallery, we saw actual... The whole it, thing, yeah. how amazing it was. There's a beautiful harmony of uh, colours. It's a really emotional moment and the painter brought it across just in one still. You know, it's fantastic. The lovely, lovely thing I like about it is the water. You feel that there is, you know, it's deep. The painting of Callisto's belly is one of the most um, poignant and moving passages in all painting. Titian's Diana and Callisto was bought jointly by the Scottish National Galleries and the National Gallery of London in 2012 following the 2009 acquisition of its companion piece Diana and Acteon. Diana, I think, had a great attraction for patrons in that she had this wonderful entourage of um, nymphs who always accompanied her. I mean, really, if you just want to paint some thumping great bare naked ladies, you can legitimise that by going to the myths. Titian was one of the great Venetian Renaissance painters, and one of his many sources of inspiration was the ancient Roman poet Ovid. Ovid was perfect. You want to paint a myth, pick up Ovid, have a flick through, you are bound to find something. The Metamorphoses is all those myths which entail some form of metamorphosis, some form of change. People are metamorphosed into animals or plants, and the thrust of it was that the world is always in flux. I think of Ovid as one of the most painterly of all poets. Titian is the most poetic of painters. So, for example, rhyme, rhythm, contrast, sort of antithesis, all the tactics that Ovid employed. Titian kind of recreates them in his own special style. In many, many ways, it's um, an ideal meeting of minds between, between these two very gifted men. to look at the painting in like close up and it was really big. The most I've liked about the picture is like how it tells the whole story in one scene. Diana is the goddess of the hunt and Callisto was her favourite nymph. Callisto becomes pregnant but she's scared and she wants to hide it and then Diana banishes her. She was turned into a bear by Juno. Her son is taken away from her. In the end it's happy and we both get put in the sky. Yeah, and stars. There is an element of fear that goes into, you know, taking on something so huge, something that's so well known and so perfect in itself. But at the same time, it's also hugely inspirational. I trusted my sort of instincts and um, went with what drew me in, which was her. My body opened. It was not my body. I became a question that must not be asked of the gods. I grew ripe with it. Titian's ability to, to draw out essential human qualities in whichever figure he depicted is what moved me most. And this character moved me most, Callisto, because of this incredible focus on her belly. 
Lucien Freud talks about it. He says something very dramatic, like everything changed for him in painting the moment he saw it. And I know what he means. I became intrigued by the idea that she is a constellation, and that's how she's saved. Stars, 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 stars. And I am made of them now, looking down on myself then. A colorito. You get the sense in in the paintings of wordless conversations. I mean, you could almost make up the balloons that you'd add and the things that each character would say. As part of the Cultural Olympiad of London 2012, the National Gallery collaborated with the Royal Ballet and the Royal Opera House. The project was called Metamorphosis Titian 2012. There was an exhibition here in the National Gallery and at the heart of that exhibition were three Titian paintings, Diana and Acteon, Diana and Callisto and The Death of Acteon. The Royal Ballet aspect of the collaboration featured choreographers and composers responding to those three Titian paintings to stage three separate ballets in the Royal Opera House. Titian's paintings have the seeming ability to cross time and have influenced throughout history and will continue to influence painters and all visitors to public collections to see them for a long time to come. It's impossible to be outside the works now. I think I'm part of the fabric of the paintings. I do hope so. Titian certainly knew how to spin an extraordinary tale in a painting and he realised that he had um, achieved something very special. I work in the gallery and I see visitors every day. They stop and admire it. I like it, it's a good painting, I think. It's beautiful.